Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. So today we learn order of operations. What is order of operations? So the operations, what we have learned, we have not yet learned about uh, exponents. We have not yet learned about parentheses. What we are talking about only 加减乘除 addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So within these four operations, how do you do it? When you have numbers with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, or any of them, or all of them together, uh, you need to make an, an order which one goes first. It's like um, when we drive, right? You, you drive, you always drive on the right side of the road in America or in most part of the world. And when I was in Australia, we, dro we drove on the left side of the road. So there will be no traffic, there will be, there will be no accident. So order of operations, uh, the mathematician policeman made a rule you have to follow. If you do not follow, you are illegal. So don't do that, okay? Follow the orders of, order of operations. So when we, are in, <coughs> when we were in first and second grade, we learned about uh, addition and subtraction. So they are the lower level, lower level operation. And since we come to third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, we are come to the upper grade, right? So these are the upper grade level of operation. This is not about bullying upper grade, the bigger guys or the bigger or the, the more complicated operations go first. So <clears throat> that is the rule. No need to argue about it. Okay, so let's do some um, some uh, um, exercise. Five plus four times three minus six. So when I see it, I know subtract uh, the, uh, multiplication and division goes first, and then sub, and then we do uh, addition and subtraction. So this one, if we do it, we do 5 plus 4 is 9 times 3. Is that right? No, that is illegal. You are totally wrong. And uh, to make everything clear, whenever we see this multiplication sign, and the multiplication sign is in front of a, a number, these two numbers go together. It means only it crossed together. So this we will do first. So we get this one 12. 5 plus 12 minus 6, 17. You can do even like this. 17 minus 6 equal to 11. Okay. Second, 9 minus 8 divided by 4 times 2 uh, plus 7 times uh, 3. Let's do this. So <clears throat> what we see, we see 8 divided by 4 times 2. So multiplication and division goes together. Do the first. And this is actually, the three of them is one bundle. The three of them is one bundle. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The final result for this big cluster is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 7, oh, this we need to do. We need to do this first. 7 times 3 is 21, and then add this 5, this will all not exist, only 5 exists, 
after all these um, calculating. 5 plus 21 equal to 26. Is that clear? Not so clear, right? Especially when there are many numbers. Okay, question number three. Let's do one more time or two more times, a few more times. 10 minus 9 times 2 divided by 3. Uh, let's do it again. Divided by 2 uh, plus 12 divided by 4 minus 2. Ooh, this is so complicated. So first, we need to establish. We need to do multiplication and division first. So 1, 1, 2, 3. Three uh, operation signs connected with four numbers. So these are the links. This is the operation links. So it, it describes what is the relation, what is the operation. So these four numbers. We need to work. Now we need to look for the second or third, the other, if there is a still multiplication or division. Ooh, ooh, this is a division sign. And then multiplication division, no more. So this. Okay, you can do 9 times 2 is 18. 18 divided by 6, 3 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is three. You can do this. And I will tell you another way. We have already learned about fraction. So what I will do, I think you will later on find the benefit of it. 10. I copy it. I am just writing it exactly the same thing, but writing in a different way. Divide uh, minus still 10 is here, minus is here, and 9 and 2, we know division is, is fraction. Division is fraction. So we know on top, multiplication number is on top, 9 times 2, divided by 3, and divided by 2, and these 2 and 3, they are actually, their relationship is 3 times 2. Gosh, I know this looks complicated for you. Anything when you see a division sign, put it under. Anything when you see a division sign, put it under. Okay, that is it. Plus 12 on top, and division sign, put it under, under, four is under, under, uh -huh. <laughs> minus two. And this way, we already learned about cross, cross canceling, right? Becomes so much easier, cross, cross, cross cancel. So it becomes 10 minus 3 plus 3 minus 2. You can do 10 minus 3. Uh, 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 minus 2 is 8. This is one way. Another way. Whenever you see a minus sign, is a negative sign. Minus 3 plus 3, this becomes 0. Get out of here. So 10 minus 2 becomes 8. Make sense? We do some more of this, you will be more comfortable. 1 plus... Um, 54 divided by 9 times 2 divided by 6 uh, plus 2 times 5 times 3 
divided by 15 minus 1. I think we are good with this. Okay. Uh, I try to avoid negative number. But um, when you do very often, we can positive negative one is already gone. But I will not do it just like this. We do it. I will not go so fast. We do one at a time. One, copy it, plus. Now I see multiplication and division. I change into, into a, a fraction form. Why do I change? Because I am the teacher. I give the problem. So I know this can be cross-canceled. When other teacher give you a worksheet or when you pull out a long online worksheet, First, take a look if this can be cross-canceled. Some teachers, they, 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 they didn't have a good night, so they give you the number, just any number. They, they want to give you a hard time. I am not that t teacher. I, I had a good, good night last, a good day last uh, yesterday, so I'm good, okay? So I do not give you bad numbers. So these are all good numbers. So how do you distinguish? whether it's good number or bad number. No, that's not, not a good way to say it. Whether this number can be cross-canceled or have any relationship or not by timetable. Always, always, always remember your timetable. That is your lifeline. If you do not remember it, uh -oh, your life is going to be troubled. Okay, 54 on top. The first number, always write it down. Times 2 on top. Divided 9. Divided by 9, go down. Division sign, go down. Okay, plus time sign. All this cluster is here, and all this cluster, time, time, divide, all this cluster is here. Okay, two times f multiplication, time, top, time, top, divide, down, minus one. Copy, copy everything. So this. 54, 9 times 6, 54. Get out of here. You are all gone. And this one, 3 times 5, 15, 15 and 15, gone. With the wind. Positive 1, negative 1, 一减一零, go. So here you have 2, here you have 2, 2 plus 2 equal to 4. And that is the result. Okay, make sure you always see the number connected together is one operation. If I write 5 times 4 divided by 6 times 3 times um, 8 divided by uh, 2, what do you do? So this is only multiplication and division. You can write it into a fraction form. First number always, always stay on top. First number always, always, always. Because before the five, there is no operation sign, right? Okay, always, always on top. Time, go top. Time, go top. Time, go top. Divide, go down, divide, go down and between these down because they are already down so you do not write division here the relationship of them are equal okay um hmm. 12 12 3, go up so the result is 40 and that is it. Hope that can explain a little bit.
Thank you very much. I love you. I really do. do, 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 do.